You know what, mate? When I said I wanted to do a deal to win the ALDS game 5, I didn't mean at the expense of my best players getting injured. Well, I just thought you'd take my soul or something. Ah, oh, you know what, mate? This is why you have an image problem, and this is why nobody likes you, mate. Yeah, well, you're a dick. Go to hell. Oh, wait. and welcome back to the New York Yankees. It is season six, I think six, episode 13. So I hope you're not superstitious. And today we are facing the Detroit Tigers in the ALDS. Unfortunately, we're going to be doing it without, well, the rest of this season without Isaiah Bennett. We saw he went off in game one of the championship series. I'm not sure how clear it is behind my head. I don't know which way I need to move, uh, but it's three to four months. It doesn't really matter. Whatever it is, it's, if it's more than about two weeks, he's done. It's a torn knee meniscus, which is possibly not a bad thing because it shouldn't affect his pitching too badly if at all um but that does rule him out of the rest of the season and the other pitcher of course that injured was uh, casey miser and it's far more serious for him nine months with a torn flexor tendon in the elbow so that's not this season that is also most of next season and um well any sort of arm injury like that we may never see the best of him again so don't do deals with the devil apparently it does <laughs> <laughs> it just, it doesn't usually work, it just doesn't work out for you. Uh, now, of course, we need to see what we're doing today, don't we? One team has the chance to progress, one team is fighting for their lives. So let's go see, after losing game one, how we got on in game two at Yankee Stadium. We really didn't want to be dropping both the home games, did we? Fletcher led us off at second base, batting second at third was Horner, it was Smith batting third at first base, Corey Sager designated hitter, he was cleaning up, it was Adele in center field batting five, Marcelo Mayer at shortstop batting six, JJ Blade in left field batted seven, Carson Kelly the catcher batted eight, Kyle Isbell in right field batted nine, then it was Tyler Marley on the mound. Two on, two out, and Adele hits an RBI single to score Horner. Two on, two out, and Mayer hits a two RBI double. Two on, one out, and Kelly nails the runner at third. Two on, one out, and an RBI single for Willie Castro. Two on, two out, and Lawler hits a two RBI double to tie the game. One on, two out, and Palmer's RBI triple gives the Tigers the lead. Two on, two out, and Green with an RBI double that ends Marley's day. One on, two out, and Fletcher hits a two-run home run to tie the game. Oh, Fletcher again. One on, one out, Wolf on the mound, and Madrigal with an RBI double. None on, none out, and Corey Sager hits a home run that ties Corey the Sager. game and sends it into extra innings. Welcome to the postseason. None out, loaded bases, Semmel on the mound, and a sack fly puts the Tigers ahead. Two on, one out, and an RBI single extends their lead. None on, two out, and Adele grounds out to give the Tigers a two games to nothing lead. So we lose in extra innings. We do drop both our home games. And to be honest, it was just that fourth innings. That was that was it. Other than that, we were really... I mean, obviously, in the 10th, we get, gave up two. But we were really, really good otherwise. But Marley just had one bad inning. Everybody else was was fairly good. Semmel, who's been brilliant for us all season, he, uh, he let us down maybe ever so slightly. But, yeah... Difficult one to take, but we were out hit, so I guess we can't have too many complaints. But yeah, the fourth innings absolutely killed us. So, we go to Detroit for game three, 2 nil down. Looking at a, uh, well, a sweep, not quite square in the face, but certainly on the horizon. So let's go see if we could win game three. TJ Nichols on the mound for this one. 
Fletcher led us off at second. Horner batted second at third. Smith batted third at first. It was Sega cleaning up. He doesn't need a hit over. It was Adele in center field batting five. Mayer, the shortstop, batting six. JJ in right field batting seven. Rauchman, the catcher, bats eight. Kyle Isbell, the left field, bats nine. And it's TJ Nichols on the mound. None on, none out, and Adele hits a solo home run. It is gone. Loaded bases, one out, and a wild pitch ties the game. One on, none out, and an RBI single gives the Tigers the lead. Two on, two out, Ellidge on the mound, and an RBI single extends the Tigers' advantage. Two on, two out, and Madrigal with an RBI single makes it 4-1. Two on, none out, and Dominique Smith with a three-run blast out. to tie the game. Go on, Smugger! Two on, none out. Kubacek on the mound, and then RBI single puts the Tigers ahead. None on, two out, and Isbell pops out to give the Tigers a 3 0 lead. So we are not only fighting for our lives today, we are fighting to avoid the sweep. Uh, this was this was really disappointing. We. Thought, I thought we were back into it. Smith went four for four with three RBIs. Obviously, that home run helped him massively. It just wasn't to be. For some reason, Nichols, I mean, yes, he gave up four runs, but he only went 3.1 innings. The bullpen, shockingly, did well. Uh, Kubacek, who came in, I should have I should have probably said this already, shouldn't I? The two pitchers that came into the, into the team, Kubacek came in to replace Casey Miser, and he did quite well. He gave up one run, but through three innings of work, and uh, the other player that came in, and it may not matter at all, because if we lose today, the season is done. But the other player that we brought into the starting rotation is Jordan Yamamoto. He finished the season well when we were starting him. Uh, I think that was for Bennett as well, wasn't it? So we're going to give him a, a spot. So he'll go in the next game if we were to get there. But signs are pointing towards the fact that maybe we're not quite going to get there. Uh, so it's Kenning versus Vest today. Uh, you can see how everybody's getting on so far in the series. Fletcher and Smith are doing well with the bat. Rest of the team, it's a bit of a case of the same old story. Yeah. We just don't hit in the postseason, do we? And it's really, really frustrating. As for them, I mean, they're, they're, they're doing okay. They're, they're doing better than we are, obviously. That's why they've won three games to zero. But anyway, let's get out there. Let's check these lineups and um, we'll just get this over with, really. All right, and this is it, and we are making changes to the lineup. So Fletcher will lead us off at second base. Horner will bat second at th uh, third. Smith will bat third at first. It is Sega coming back into the uh, fielding side of things. He's going to be shortstop cleaning up. Adele in center field bats five. Grosjeans comes into the lineup for this one. He's a designated hitter at six. Gallo comes back in. He's batting seven in right field. Carson Kelly is catching at eight. It is Isbell in left field at nine. The two that have dropped out is uh, uh, Marcelo Mayer. And, oh, JJ, he just, they're not hitting. They're not hitting this series, so we dropped them. And it's Griffin Canning on the mound for us. He has been disappointing so far. At 0 and 2 with an ERA of uh, over 5.5 against the Tigers. I don't know if that's this, this season or if that's career. Either way, it's not great. We're up against Will Vest for them. His ERA this regular season was 247, so that's not a good omen, is it? Uh, a whip of just over one. ERA plus of 199. A war of 1.3. It's only from four starts, so, so more of a bullpen pitcher for them. Uh. All right, so here we go for game four. If we're going to do it, it's going to be epic. It's going to be Fletcher to lead us off. He has been good so far in the uh, in the postseason, batting uh, four something, four twenty something, was it? Maybe I'll say at the top here. It's not going to say it. And Fletcher has, I think that's going to get caught out there. Center field is going back, and he does make the catch. Four one away. Brings Nico Horner in, batting three fifty five in the postseason. A no one pitch. Horner. Hits it well, but straight to right field for two away. And it's going to bring Dominic Smith up, batting 351. A 1-0. Dominic Smith grounds it to first, and that'll do it for the top of the first. Three up, three down for the Yankees. And that is that. Nick Madrigal will lead them off, batting 548 in the postseason. That is frustratingly good, isn't it? He's going to face uh, K. 
Henning, and he has, I think, it's just like Fletcher. I think he's popped it up. Adele goes back, makes the catch, one away. And Kenning is out of the game. One pitch and he's out. So Kubacek's going to come back in. He did well. He did well last time he pitched. Was that was that game three? He's doing well to come back the next night. That's a ground ball. Out at first, two away. And it is talk. You can't believe our luck when we get to the postseason. How have we lost two starting pitchers and Miser, who would have come into the starting rotation? So essentially three starting pitchers. But it's three up, three down. I think we only threw four pitches between us there, didn't we? All the pit all our uh, guys. But anyway, Sega will lead us off. Batting 242. He's not had the greatest postseason so far. Did hit one home run, and he's got himself a leadoff single there into right field. Excellent stuff by Corey. All right, Joe Adele now batting 265. An 01. Joe Adele pops it up. That'll be one away. I almost didn't pick Adele for this one and uh, picked JJ on this just purely because Adele never plays well on YouTube. I don't think the game takes that into account. It's Jordan Grosjean's now, his first at bat of the postseason. And he has taken an 0-2 pitch. Oh, and it's well caught in center field, two away. And in comes Joey Gallo. He is one for 11 in the postseason. We need him to break out of that slump and that is not gonna do it. And that is the end of the top of the second. Kubacek to face Dominguez, who's batting 267 in the postseason. It's a 1-1, and it's a ground ball, and it is out at first, one away. Next up, it is Packard for them, batting two, uh, sorry, 462. It's a 1-2 pitch. Can Kubacek strike him out? Yes, he can. Ties him in a knot, and that is two away. Well done, Kobe, and it is uh, Castro in now, batting 333. A 2-2, two, two, two out, no one on, and Kubacek with a strikeout to end the second. All right. Carson Kelly to lead us off, batting 182 in the postseason, a full count. And he draws a leadoff walk. Now, he's not the quickest. He's, I think I'm quicker than him. It is Isbell that's going to come in, though, now. He's batting 200 this postseason. Can he get something for us here? He can, and he gets it into the left field. It's going to skip to the fence. Now, Kelly is surely not going to score from first. He's going to try for it, and Kelly is going to score from first. Someone get that man some oxygen. It's an RBI double for Isbell, and we've taken a lead in the top of the third. It's Fletcher now. No one out. Runner at second. A 1-1 pitch, and Fletcher lines at the shortstop. One away. It brings Nico Horner in now. He's 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. It gets away from the catcher. Over to third goes Isbell. And that second run is just 90 feet away. A full count. And Horner watches strike three. And it's Dominic Smith who is 0 for 1. But already has 12 RBIs this postseason. And make that 13 as it drops in. And it is an RBI single for Dominic Smith. It is 2-0. Sager who's 1 for 1 comes in. An 0-1 pitch. Corey Sager is that going to drop in? No. Another good catch out there. But we've jumped out to a 2-0 lead after the top of the third. Langerlees will come in now. I'd never say that name the same twice, do I? It's a full count, and he oof, will take that call. That looked a little bit high and outside. One away. Lawler now, who's batting 250 to face Kubacek. That's a ground ball. Horner has it over to first. Two away. Kubacek to face Segura now, who's batting 286 in the postseason. An 0-1. And he smacks it to the right center fence. And that is just a double, is it? Yes, he stands up at second. Gallo's arm is strong. He gets it in. And that is a two-out double for the Tigers. Madrigal now, who's 0 for 1, to face the new man, Vessia. Kubacek did a decent job for us. Can Vessia pick up that baton? Not with that, he can't. Is that going to score a run? Joey Gallo throws to the plate, and it is not in time. And it is an RBI single for Madrigal. It is 2-1. It's Riley Green to the plate. A 2-2. It's a strikeout, is it? No. Oh, nailed it second. Not even close. Carson Kelly with the arm of a god. And that ends the third. We are 2-1 up. Adele to lead us off. He's 0-1 today. It's a full. It's a first pitch swing, I should say. Adele hits it well. And that is going to skip to the fence in left center field. Never hit a triple. And this isn't the time either. He slides into second for a leadoff double. All right, can we extend our lead back out to two? Grosjean's now 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing, lays down a bunt. It's a good one. And uh, it'll get Adele over to third. 
All right, Joey Gallo, can you drive in a run for us, mate? It's a full count. Can he even just draw a walk? He does even better. He does slap it into left field. And Joey Gallo with an RBI double. Go on, Joey. Back out to 3-1 we go. And now we are going to have a situation where Carson Kelly comes back up to bat. He walked. And this time he strikes out. And that is two away for Isbell, who is one for one with an RBI. And that gets away from the catcher. Gallo will go over to third. And can Isbell drive in a second run? It's a 3-1 pitch. Come on, Kyle. Get yourself on base here, mate. He does. Runners at the corners now with two away for Fletcher, who's 0 for 2. Come on, Fletch. It's a 2-0. Fletcher gets it into left there, right center field. It scores one. It might score the second one. Isbell is quick. He turns. He goes. It's a two RBI double for Fletcher. It's 4-1. Four, 5-1. Four one, one. What's the score? 5-1, isn't it? 5-1. And it's a new pitcher. Vents to the mound to face Horner, who is 0-2 with a runner at second. It's a 1-0. A left-handed pitcher now as well. Horner gets it into right field. Is that going to score Fletcher? It just might. He's going home. He's going to get there. It's an RBI single for Horner. It's 6-1 to the Yankees. And put your brooms away, Detroit. There will be no sweep this day. Hopefully. Smith gets it up the middle. And it is going to be runners at the corners. They got all their runs in the fourth against Marley. And are we going to do the same thing? Okay, Corey. Driving a run for us, mate. It's a 1-0. Corey Sager. Has he hit it well enough? It is. No. Caught by center field. That ends the top of the fourth, but we score four. It's 6-1. It's Vessier to face Riley Green, who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-1 one, one pitch, and it is absolutely ripped down the right field line. That's going to be at least a double. Gallo is there, and Gallo will keep it to the double. Not ideal, though, is it? Not ideal. Vessier to face Torkelson now, who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-1. One, one. Torkelson pops it straight up. Kelly goes back. He makes the catch for one away. In will come Dominguez now, who's 0 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. Dominguez, that should be caught. Gallo's there, coming in. Makes the catch. Runner stays at second, 2 away. And it's Packard now, who is 0 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. Vessier hits him. Runners at first and second. We do not need base runners. Willie Castro comes in now. He is 0 for 1. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Vessier, that should do it. Ground ball to Fletcher over to first. And we have a five-run lead going into the fifth. Adele will lead us off. He is one for two today. It's a 1-1, and Adele grounds at the shortstop, and that'll be one away. In, <clears throat> excuse me, will come Grosjans, who's 0 for 1. I think he, he walked last time. This time he strikes out. We didn't, weren't missing much not having him in the lineup, were we? Joey Gallo now, who had an RBI last time up. It's a full count. Two out, no one on. Joey Gallo walks. All right. New pitcher is Ketteridge. He's not pitched yet in the postseason. He's going to face Carson Kelly, who's 0 for 1. Carson Kelly drops it into left field. Is Gallo going to get himself over to third? He's going for it, and he's going to get there. Runners at the corners with two away. And it's Isbell, who's already got an RBI. He's 1 for 1 today with a walk. Can he be the hero of game 4? He cannot. And that'll end the innings. We'll go into the 5th. Does Vessia continue? Bottom of the 5th, I should say. Lengelis to the plate. He's 0 for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch. And it's a leadoff strikeout. Excellent stuff. And that'll do it as Bubic comes in now. Bubic, well, he was brilliant in, was it game one he came in? One game that he came in, he was really, really good anyway. It's a 1-0 pitch, and that is popped up. Isbell's in left field. Simple catch for him. Two away. And if Bubic can take us sort of into the seventh here, maybe we can look to close it out then. Segura, who is one for one walks on four pitches not ideal nick madrigal who's one for two with a walk uh, with an rbi i should say and that should be out at first it is bubbage ends the innings for us and we'll go and have a bat for the sixth time all right fletcher to face ketteridge what can fletch do it's a first pitch swing fletcher up the middle fletcher has a leadoff single and it is going to be nico horner now who is one for three and Nico Horner, that could be a double run, Nico. Two away, no one on. And it is Smith, who is two for three. A 2-2 two -two pitch. And Dominic Smith will end the innings. 
and it is still 6-1 to the Yankees. All right, Riley Green to bat now. He's going to face Bovic. Green is one for two. And that is lined straight to Smith. And that is out at first. One away. Torkelson now, who's 0 for 2. He's hit two home runs already this postseason. He's not going to add a third there. There's a strikeout for Bubich. Two away as Dominguez comes in. He's 0 for 2 today. It's a full count. Oh. And that is a two-out walk. And Packard comes in now, who is 0 for 1. It's a 1-0. There goes the runner. Can Kelly get another one? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sheriff Kelly behind the plate. Catches another thief. And we'll go into the seventh. And it is Sega to lead us off. One for three he is today. It's an 0-1 pitch. Come on, Corey. Corey Sager grounds at the third. And that'll be one away. Adele now, who's one for three. It's an 0-2 pitch. That usually means a strikeout. And there it is. He doesn't know what to do with two. He freezes with two strikes on him. Grosjean's now, who is 0 for two. Come on, mate. Don't let me regret picking you. Grosjean's up the middle. Thank you. And that is a two-out single. Would have been better if he did that with runners at third. But anyway, Jake Wong will come up. He has uh, got an ERA of 27 so far this postseason. We'd love some of that. It's Joey Gallo. It's an 0-2 pitch. A little bit like Adele. This doesn't usually end well. And we stretch five runs to the good. Bubic will continue to Packard, who is 0-1. I think he got hit as well. And he's been struck out there. One away. Bubic to Castro now, who is 0-2. It's a 1-2 pitch. Bubic with another strikeout. Oh, Bubic. What a performance this has been so far. He's going to face Langeles now, who is 0 for 2. It's a first pitch swing. And it's a pop-up, and that'll take us into the 8th. We are 6 outs away from avoiding a sweep. Still a long, long way to go, of course. But is the epic comeback on here. It's Carson Kelly, who's 1 for 2. It's a first pitch swing. Kelly gets his step ladder out again. Grounds at the second, one away. Isbell now, who's one for two. Come on, Kyle. A first pitch swing from him. Isbell up the middle. That'll be him on base. It'll be a one-out single. And Isbell is our best base runner as well. Fletcher, who's two for four with two RBIs. And 0-1. Fletcher! Has he hit another home run? Where is this power coming from? From David Fletcher. I think it's a third home run of the postseason. He don't think he hit three all season. He's already hit a grand slam. Now he's made it 8 1 in the eighth. And is it too little, too late from our Yankees? But at least we are showing up eventually. Horner with a ground out to first. That'll be two away. And it'll bring Dominic Smith to the plate now, who is two for four. It's an 0 1. Smith grounds at the first. But again, that'll do it. And it will be the end of the top of the eighth. But it is 8 1. And Nick Robinson will come out to throw away the lead for us. He's going to face Lawler, who's 0 for 2. It's a 1-0. Note to self, if we somehow make the World Series, Robinson is nowhere near that lineup. But he gets the, gets the out there, so that's all right. One away. In comes Segura, who's 1 for 1 with a walk. It's a 1-1 pitch. Segura hits it well. Isbell is... No, it's, Isbell, it's, uh, it's a Dell out there, isn't it? He makes the catch. Two away. Madrigal now. Are we going to... No, I thought we wouldn't see Robinson get three up, three down. There's a walk. <clears throat> and is this going to be the great two-out rally of Detroit? No, that should do it. That should do it. We go to the ninth. We are seven runs up. And, well, we don't even need Samuel as of yet, do we? Corey Sager. Maybe we could do like a massive showboat and try and close the game out with Robinson. A 2-2 on Corey Sager. He pops it up. That'll be one away in the top of the ninth. Just focus on your defense here, boys. We don't need more runs, I hope not anyway. Adele with a full count. Adele strikes out. Two away. Jordan Grosjean's, who's one for three. It's a 1-0. Jordan Grosjean's gets one up the middle, and that will be a two-out single for Jordan. Well, in the end, I think he's justified his selection, hasn't he? And, of course, if he's designated hitter, we don't have to worry about him making errors at third base. Gallo will ground out the first. That'll end the innings. I don't know if we go with Gallo or with JJ. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anyway, Nick Robertson is going to try and close this out for us. It's the ultimate uh, the ultimate showboat. And Torkelson pops that up, does he? Uh, Gallo's going across, makes the catch, one away. We are two outs away from forcing a game five. Dominguez to face Robertson. It's a one-two. There's another pop-up. It's going to be Adele this time. They are down to their final out. If Adele can catch, he can. Is Robinson about to close out a game? Packard's at the plate. It's a 2-2 pitch. 
And that is unbelievable. We've won a game and Robinson has closed it out. So we live to fight another day. Not a good time to be a baseball fan in New York, though, is it? 3-1 and 3-0 down for the Mets and the Yankees. And uh, if you're wondering about Kenning, uh, no, not that one. If we go here, we will see that it's a it was a dead arm. One week dead arm. Uh, we wouldn't need him again for a week anyway because that's him done now. He just pitches game four. That's that's all we need from him. So if we were to make the World Series, I mean, does he move up a spot without um, without Bennett now? That's the question. Maybe we would need... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're not going to need him again this series. It's going to be Yamamoto going in a game five that we have when we have to win everything now, don't we? If we can get a win with him, Get it back to New York with Marley and Nichols. I wouldn't say it's no chance. Marley's good at home and Nichols is just good. But this is the big hurdle now, isn't it? Yamamoto, it should have been Bennett. But it's Yamamoto and it's going to be game... What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get back to this. And it's going to be game five. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Jack Walker is on the mound for them, the lefty. We're gonna, we're not gonna, we're gonna make changes again. Grosjeans will stay in the side. Uh, it'll be a different lineup to the game one lineup. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but it's still a very, very long way away, isn't there? It's just like a little pinhead of light, though. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe, and uh, let's hope that we can uh, win game five and get this thing back to Yankee Stadium. Take care.